Hi friends, Jessica at Pretty Prints and Paper. Today I am excited to bring you this video because I feel like I have been searching for these pens for weeks. Once I found out that Kelly Creates from Instagram was partnering with Michaels to bring some of her own line of pens and I saw that they were small brush pens, I said, hell yeah, when can I get my hands on these? Finally got them and I got them at Michaels in that new planner line, the new lettering area and it's probably an aisle. Sometimes it's on the side, sometimes it's in the middle. So it depends on your store, but she has a, hot, a lot of different types of pens that she has released. And um, this particular set, I'm going to be comparing with some of my favorite other small brush pens like the Pentel Sign specifically. There are so many colors that are available in this set, which is why I make the comparison to the Pentel Sign because for example, like the Kiritaki and the Tombow, they only come in black. So it's uh, an easier comparison to make when you have all the different colors in the Pentel. So first things off is that the set is 28 US dollars. And of course that means that when you use the coupon, it's going to be somewhere between 14 and $17, depending on if you get a 40 or 50, which is kind of a nice deal because then it comes with was it 10? Yeah, 10 colors for just over a dollar a piece. Whereas some of the Pentel pens are about like $2 a piece. So depending on where you go, that means that I was thinking like, what is the cost difference, right? So looking on the package, honestly, cannot find anything that says anything beyond that it's non-toxic. So that means if they're not claiming anything, it means that it's probably not light fast or strong in uh, pigmentation or waterproof or anything like that. So mainly just for your casual lettering, probably not going to be long lasting for final art pieces, anything like that, if that's what you're looking to do with it. However, the colors are beautiful, am I right? The Pentel colors, they do have, what, 12 different colors, maybe 13, but the colors are very much your traditional set of like red and green and blue with some hot, uh, fun colors like this pink, gray, and sky blue colors. So the brightness of this one already is like a huge win for me. And in comparing the tips, it's, this is called the small brush. They have another one called the fine brush as well for the Kelly Creates line, but it's a familiar nylon tip. Right? So it looks very, very similar in terms of structure. There's just the tip of it is the color. The one thing that I find really irritating about the Kelly Creates is that inside the cap, there's this little ring inside. It's like another barrel inside. And sometimes if you don't put the cap back on just so, you're gonna catch it. So I'm always afraid I'm gonna wreck my tips. So you have to take a little bit more care in putting them back into the top. Just a small thing. But, so this color is Blossom. She's named all these colors and it's consistent across all four or five other packs of pens that she's got out there. But, so this is the Blossom. And in writing with it, my first impression is that it's more like the Tombow Soft Tip. because it's much more forgiving in the tip than the hard. So if that's a comparison that you are familiar with. And I wanna to say too that the colors aren't super opaque. So some of the Pentel colors are very, very vibrant and it's uh, solid all the way through. Whereas some of these, this one is the berry, some of these you can tell that, that there's going to be that fading right more of that dry ish effect over time depending on how fast you wear these out they skipped orange which is fine by me this one's sunshine It still gives you enough control where you can get these lovely thin upstrokes. Again, that stupid cap. 
sage. Yeah, you can see there, there's kind of like that dry track. So if you don't slow down, maybe this is a lesson for me that I need to slow down. I don't know. <laughs> Emerald. I'm curious how these tips will hold up over time in terms of these thin upstrokes. And the problem that I still have, apparently, is when I curve down from the E's and C's, I still get that little click when the brush comes back down. I'm gonna have to learn how to fix that. Grape. Gray with an E. I like that on this HP Premium Choice paper, there's some gradient between the top of the stroke and then it fades a little bit with that ombre effect throughout. And then of course, classic black. So because it's a touch softer than say like a Tombow Feud, um, it does take a little bit of a uh, conscious thought to go back and soften up be before you get to these upstrokes a little bit because it is a little softer so it'll come up a little thicker if you're not slow so that's a again a, a lesson for me as a calligrapher that I need to slow down a little bit so that I can get those fine lines but it's totally doable again I would probably uh, liken it to a, a Tombow soft tip uh, because it is a little softer than even the Pentel so I think over time, honestly, the vibrancy of, of the Pentel, because you know you are paying more for it, I think the ink will be more vibrant in these, more juicy, but these have just a lovely color that we're not seeing in small brush pens. And to be honest, most small brush pens are black. So this is a nice change up in what's available right now. Um, and it's a perfect size for journals and planners, whereas even the next smallest is, like Tombows are just too big. For your journal right so um, i would say these are totally worth picking up and like you're gonna find that a lot of these michael's products are really awesome so if you have a coupon go and snag it again it is for fun more than for professional use but i think it's worth it for the 15 to 17 dollars so enjoy play around if you have other questions please let me know down below in the comments i'm reviewing a couple of her other products so I'm going to be checking those out and comparing them to other common name brand products. So if you liked it, subscribe, um, thumbs up, share, but either way, I hope that you enjoy it. I'll see you next time. Bye.